It's... It's actually an eagle owl. August has come. The days are getting shorter and the bird cliffs more silent. But that doesn't mean that the season is over yet. I came to this island called Lovind, characterized by a 600 meters tall mountain and bird cliff, straight out of the ocean. A whole garden of islands stretches out in every direction. I might be a bit late, but it's still a paradise to be explored. With the puffins on no wind, it's really a bit different than on Rinde. Because on Rinde, you get way closer, fine, um, but you're also above. You're above on the cliff and you're not allowed to go down. While here, you're kind of below the cliff or the slope and at least at the, until the end of July, you're not allowed to go up. Though, considering that puffins could be anywhere in the slope and the slope is quite steep, it feels dangerous to go up there, even though it's August now. Yeah. So it's a bit, bit difficult. Mm. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it, but you see I have the converter on and I'm mainly filming because then I get a bit closer at least, because yeah. It's quite far, but it's amazing how they how they like sit under the swarm going over here. It's not a white-tailed eagle, it's, it's actually an eagle owl, and there's, if not three of them, 
I didn't know that they're so far up north, but I knew that they're hunting on islands and obviously puffins seem to taste good. That's funny. I didn't expect that, but um, it's bird islands and there is a whole number of in different species, of course. And owls seem to have figured it out that photographer doesn't want to do them anything. I'm saying how like the swarm moves over us here. If there's any of you out there that always wanted to photograph puffins and other shorebirds from the cliffs of the Norwegian coast, I have good news for you. I'm setting up workshops on Runde in May, June, July. And just let me know if you're interested in that. Now back to the coast. Lovind is an island community that, in contrast to others, is growing these days. The settlement has most things you would need. A pub to spend the evenings. A store to feed yourself. And if it's your vibe, a chapel. Mostly what I need, beautiful nature. I got myself a really nice tent spot here. One side, just mountains, uh, the mountain, the single mountain on this island. And the other side, the ocean. And just really happy, really lucky. I was thinking about going out and laying down and look after waders, but I saw that the clouds were, yeah, getting a bit darker and it felt like something's coming, right? We can feel like the wind is raising and... Yeah, apparently a lot of rain was coming along the mountain and I'm gonna wait until that's over. I just found out that it's so practical that I could hang my mobile phone into the tent. <laughs> it's the optimal thing to watch something while you're laying down. Yeah, I hope I go out soon, but the thing is my 200 to 500 is not entirely weather sealed and I can't just risk that on a trip like that. I just rushed down here, forgot my gloves, doesn't matter though, the birds know that I'm here, that's not the issue, the thing 
is that I saw an otter. And I completely stumbled down here. Like not when I saw it, when I saw it I reacted really calmly. Then I saw it leave in this direction. And I came down here to have a look, but it was already gone. Haven't had any luck with otters yet. Still have some sun left. No waders. Um, I don't. I don't even understand why. But okay. But the turns are really working with me. Against that really strong sun. Maybe some with a bit too much contrast. A bit high key, but yeah, I take what I can on this trip because it's so different than thought maybe. looks amazing um, what can I wish more like I can't wish for more um, than just being uh, outside here enjoying this grand landscape and imagine that I could get here by bus and train of all sorts um, yeah a bit confused a bit yeah not sure what to do after I realized that's not really the island to photograph puffins, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, still happy trying out some stuff and hopefully some time lapses now turn out well. <sighs> yeah.
I haven't seen a single wader. And there are habitats here for that. <laughs>